Hello and you're very welcome to this video. Today what we're going to learn to do is we're going to learn to add a tab into Microsoft Teams call, uh, which links directly to your stream account. This way both you and your students can see any videos you've uploaded to stream or any live lessons you've had all in the one place without having to go scrolling up and down the posts part of the Teams page. So first thing we want to do I've opened up my web browser and I've opened up Microsoft Teams on one tab and I've opened up the class that I want to look at, which in this case is what I've called test and practice class. And then in the second tab, I've opened up office.com and I've signed into my Office 365 account. Now, what I want to do is I need a search stream here. So I'm going to type in stream and you can see yourself it appears there. I'm going to click that there. It's going to open stream in a new tab. Now, the great thing about doing this is that it means that all your videos that you've cre uh, created, either privately created and shared with them at a later point, or live classes or live sessions that you've had on Teams, can now be all collated and shown in the same place so students aren't spending time looking for it up and down their feed. Now, how do we go about doing this? So we can scroll down here and you can see yourself, there's lots of different random uh, bits of information for you. I want to go into my content here. I'm going to go into videos. And then we can see all the different videos that I have. So here you can see down the bottom some of the actual lessons I've taught. And here are three test lessons that I did on my couch. Okay. So what I want to do is I need to go to channels, no, groups. Here we go, groups. My apologies. Now we need to find my class, which is down here somewhere, I hope. Test and practice class. Here we go. So, here are the videos that I've recorded for this group. Okay. First thing I need to do is I need to create a channel for this. So I'm clicking into channels, and I'm going to create a new channel, and create the channel name. So I'm just going to call this uh, channel for test class. I'm not going to bother giving a description or anything like that. And I'm just going to create there. So very simple, such as, so there's my channel created. And now I'm going to click into the videos. And there's the three videos that I've created in this channel so far. Three videos of me watching the teddy, sitting on my couch, having a lovely hour evening. So if you see here, I have three options on the right hand side, add to watch list, add to group channel and edit, or sorry, update video details. I'm going to add to group channel. And here I'm going to change the drop down to being channels. I'm going to start typing in the name of my channel. So I wrote follow my channel for test class and there we go it comes up and I click it you see it's appearing there and I'm going to click save. I'm going to do the same for each of the videos that I've created so far. Switch this down to channels and change that to channel for test class. Excellent and click save. I'm not going to do that with the last video yet because I want to come back and show you something like that later. So let's say you only created one in three to start off with. Okay, so now in my channel, if I click back to channels here, I can see I've got my channel for the class and if I click into that, I can see the two videos that I have there. Now, let's jump, uh, what's important here is my URL for this channel, so I need to copy this, so highlight it, copy, so you can right click and copy, or you can do control C, depending how you feel. And then we go back into our Microsoft team. Now, up the top here, we see we've got our different tabs. I'm going to click on the plus tab. Now, here you'll see a wide range of lots and lots of different apps that Microsoft have available you to add to your team. Luckily enough, Stream often comes up here at this top, but if it doesn't, you can just search for Stream there and it'll come up. So I'm going to click Stream here. Now, it's going to ask for you to either put in the video link or the channel link. So we're trying to put in the channel, so I'm going to put, go uh, paste in my channel link there. It's going to prompt it up here, and I'm going to click and say, yep, that's the one. Now, the tab name, I can change this uh, name to be whatever I want it to appear on the top here. So I'm going to call it uh, videos from class. Sorry, uh, yeah, videos for the class. Okay, and I'm going to click save. And now you can see yourself have this new tab up here, videos for the class, and there are the videos created there all easily enough. Now, let's say I've created a video since. So let's say, for example, it's the very next day now. 
So I'm back in my home page and stream and I've just created my video and I want to have that in the same tab as everything else. Well, what am I going to do? No bother at all. Let's go to our my content page. Let's go to videos. And you see here all your videos are listed here. So the last video I created was uh, test lesson two. I'm going to click add to group channel and I'm going to search for channels. I'm going to type in, start in typing the name of your channel. Now I just call it whatever your class name is. And there we go, it's added in, it's saved in there. And if I go back to my Teams, and I'm just going to refresh the browser there. And any second, once my Wi Fi starts to work nice and fast, here we go, loading up there now. And lo and behold, we will hopefully see three videos here any second now. There you go. There's the three videos of my three test lessons. In other words, me watching telly on the couch. Hope this video has helped for you. If you have any questions on this or anything else to do with Microsoft Teams, please drop a comment down below. If you like this video, why not give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks very much for watching. See you all again. Thanks very much now. Bye-bye.